guys welcome back to another video a today's question on string is anagram the question states that given two strings a and b consisting of lower case characters the task is to check whether the two strings are an anagram of each other or not an anagram of a string is another string that contains the same characters only the order of the characters can be different for example act and tact both the strings have the characters a c and t which are arranged in different order therefore these two strings are anagram Let's consider the examples. In example one, the string A is gigs for gigs, and string B is for gigs gigs. Since the frequency of characters in both the strings are equal, therefore these two strings are anagram. In case of example two, the string A is allergy, and string B is allergic. In string A, we don't have the characters I and C, and similarly in string B, we don't have the character Y. Therefore, these two strings are not anagram. So now let's have a look at the approach to solve this problem. Let's consider two strings, namely S1 and S2, which are gigs for gigs and for gigs gigs. The right side of the screen shows the algorithm, which contains the function is anagram, whose arguments are the string S1 and S2. We declare few variables, namely length1, length2, which are the lengths of string S1 and S2, as well as we initialize a variable flag to zero. Then we create two integer arrays, namely a and b, which are used to store the frequency count of characters from S1 and S2. Into the arrays a and b respectively. The size of a and b is 26. So first we check whether if lengths of both the strings are unequal, and if so, we return false. Since in our case the length one and length two variables are both equal, we move further and traverse the strings from i is equal to zero to the string length. And at each traversal, we update the value of that particular character in array a and b. That is, for character g, we update the frequency of g in array a as 1 as well as for character f we update the value in array b as 1 similarly for e and o we update the value of e in a as 1 and the value of o in b as 1 now the value of e was already 1 so we increment it to 2 in our array a and we update the value of r from 0 to 1 similarly for k and g and we keep on doing this process until we reach the end of the string. So finally we have completed updating the values of frequencies from S1 and S2 into our array A and B and we have reached the end of the string. Now i is not less than length therefore we run out of the for loop and we run another for loop from i is equal to 0 to 26. That is, we traverse the arrays a and b, and at each traversal, we check whether if a of i is not equal to b of i. So when i points to 0, both these values are 0. Therefore, we increment i. Now i points to 4. Since the values of a of i and b of i are still equal, therefore we keep on incrementing i. And finally, uh, we completely traverse both the arrays a and b and we did not find a particular position where a of i was not equal to b of i. Therefore, again we break out of this for loop and then we check whether if flag is equal to 1. Since flag is not equal to 1, therefore we run to a else part and return true. That is, both these strings are anagram of each other. So now let's have a look at our actual code. The driver code is already given, we just need to complete the function is anagram whose return type is bool and the arguments are string s1 and s2. So as we have seen in the explanation part, we have first created two arrays of size 26 namely a and b and initialized them to 0. We have also stored the length of the string s1 and s2 in variables length1 and length2 as well as initialized flag to 0. So first we check whether if length1 is not equal to length2 and if so we return false. Else we run a for loop from i is equal to 0 to any of the lengths that is length 1 or length 2 and at each traversal we update the value of the frequency that is we update a of s1 of i minus a that is the ASCII value of a we subtract the ASCII values of a from that particular character and we increment the frequency of that character. Similarly in case of the string s2 b of s2 of i minus a plus plus. And after the for loop, we run another for loop from i is equal to 0 to 26, that is for traversing the array a and b. And at each traversal, we check whether if a of i is not equal to b of i. If we encountered any such condition, then we update a value of flag as 0 and we break out of the for loop. 
and finally we check whether if flag is equal to 1 if so we return false else we return true so now we can compile a code and the code is compiled we can submit it now and it got submitted successfully so if you found this video helpful do hit that like button and subscribe to my youtube channel for more such upcoming videos on must to coding questions for interview preparation thank you